Hello everyone and welcome to this video uh, where I will be showing you a small demo that I was working on in my free time. Uh, it's basically a supermarket simulator game as you can see uh, where we have our counter um, check out in front of us. So it has uh, different parts. First of all is the screen uh, which is an interactable uh, widgets that we can interact with using uh, the lasers from our hand. It has different buttons that uh, you know cause different uh, effects for us. Uh, the screen is also a stereo layer, which means it will render on top of our uh, objects, 3D objects, because it's being rendered on a later on uh, buffer. Uh, as you can see, if I go far from it, I will still be able to read it. But uh, like, for example, the things on the products, the text on the product, I won't be able to read it. And that's why we have um, this, which is much crisp and clear for users uh, to see. It only has this unwanted effect where it renders on top of uh, like the hand, for example. But it's not that big of a deal for, um, you know, readable uh, objects uh, in the scene. So we have the second part is that we have our belt, which is a, a dynamic belt that has a sensor here which checks for products if there is any products in this area uh, it will stay steady otherwise it will start moving forward um, the next part are the products we have you see we have a, a dynamic system uh, gripping for gripping the products uh, which is basically the fingers tries to go inside but once there is a, an object it stops uh, as you can see, it also works on uh, different shaped objects. So, um, and it also works very good on smaller objects like this one bar, for example. Uh, as you can see, it's you can kind of like grip it uh, from different sides. Uh, one thing also for our products that they are physically interacting with the world. Uh, this allows us to not lose products. So uh, if this would overlap and go inside, I will probably lose this product and it will fall through the ground or, um, you know, th the walls and stuff. But uh, it's not. Uh, one important thing on the products as well is that they have a PAR code, uh, as you can see here. Uh, this PAR code has to be scanned in one of those uh, scanners for it to show on uh, the system. So let's get started and start scanning some products. Okay, so uh, you can see this is a sugar uh, pack. So it did say this is a sugar, the quantity of it and uh, the price. So let's get some product scanning. See, this is the belt uh, working. So uh, this is the first group that we just scanned. Uh, I made them into three groups, which each presenting a different customer. So let's say we finished from the first customer. We can simply say, uh, let's pay. Uh, we'll get two options here, uh, cash payment and card. For card payments, it's basically will open this device that will allow users to scan their cards. And uh, if the scanning was correct and there is a money in that account, it will show us a confirmation. We still don't have the system ready uh, just because we still don't have customers um, NPCs. So let's use the cash, which will show um, this uh, register which has the different money notes and coins um, we also currently paid ourselves 100 dollars uh, for it but the total is 15.27 so let's get uh, the change back let's go 2010 and then let's go four dollars and go 50 and go 20 and then three cents and that's it so the product uh, is removed the door opens for uh, the NPC to walk and, uh, you know, the counter registry also closes. Um, yeah, let's get the second product to scan. Uh, one important thing for, uh, for the system, if you scanned twice by a mistake, uh, it will say, hey, the quantity of this are two of the orange juice. And then it is total uh, multiplied by two, as you can see here. So we can simply say back and uh, confirm and it will remove the last added product. Uh, yeah, in, in case you made any mistakes uh, scanning your products. All right, so let's do this. 
uh, in this product, for example, you see how the power cord is here. So if you try to scan it like this or like this, it won't scan. It has to be scanned uh, in the correct direction. Power cord. This one has, I think, different power codes everywhere. Uh, so, boop, 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 boop. and that's it. So let's pay and cash. And then we have uh, 2010 and then five. And let's give one, two, three, four, and five cents. Awesome. So the last one is uh, those items. One thing before finishing this, uh, you can also cancel, uh, which means you will cancel the checkout. If you confirm, it will start uh, new. Uh, in case um, a customer leaves, or in case of any other, um, you know, scenarios, you also have the ability to cancel a full checkout all right so let's get those scanned biscuits uh okay let's pay and let's say cash and uh, now we return 8.49 so let's go with five and then go three here 20 10 10 and four cents Awesome, that's it. So this is the first uh, developer vlog that we have uh, on this supermarket uh, demo. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and we will see you in the next video.